So, get the job done. Listen to me, I just need a bit more time. No, I gave you enough. Your time is up. And that's why time is important. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. <laughs> On a serious note though, uh, I want to talk about the value of time and I'll explain to you what I mean by that in two points. Let's go. The first point I want to make is something the majority of people are guilty of. There are some exceptions, people who are very good at it, but the majority doesn't give time the respect it deserves and the importance it deserves. What I mean by that is we can sometimes be late, we can leave late and be last minute uh, on reserving something, planning something or being somewhere. Or we can even have a bad sense of time so we don't uh, know how much time this takes. So we'll be like, yeah, I'll be there in five minutes, but it actually takes 10 or 15. And it's, it's uh, why is it a problem? It's a problem because it reduces the quality of life. Let's look at it from the other side. If you give time the respect it deserves, this means you're never late. This means you're well prepared and you leave ahead of time so that if anything happens, you forget something, you can go back get it. You can prepare yourself mentally and be calm, not rushed. Your thoughts aren't racing. You, you arrive to where you want to be prepared. If that might be a speech, that might be a meeting, that might even be just going to see people. You're prepared mentally, you're at ease, and you have everything you need. So to sum the first point up, if we give time the value it deserves, the quality of life increases. Now to the second point, it's a completely different topic, but it revolves around the value of time as well. Let's think of compound interest. And to those of you who might not know what that is, I'll explain it in terms of money. If you have $100 and you go deposit it in a bank that offers you 10% interest, you're gonna gain $10 in the next year, and the year after you're gonna gain $11 because you gained interest on the $10 that you gained the year before. Otherwise, it'll, if it's just simple interest, you'll just be gaining $10 every year. The crazy thing about compound interest is that it increases exponentially. So, the sooner you start, the better off you are. And I'm not just talking about money here. I'm talking about anything in life. What I'm saying is, don't delay. If you're hesitant about anything, think of it very well and take the final decision and go ahead and do what you want to do right away. That might be starting a new course at university or changing your program. That might be switching a job and looking for a better one. That might be fixing your relationship with whoever it is. Start it right away and you'll be thankful for yourself in the future. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and you benefited from the video and I'll see you next week. For real now. <laughs> yeah.